guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I'm here for another Floss Tube update. Um, I know it's been about six months since my last video, but we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to move on. <laughs> um, there's been a lot happen since... Nothing's wrong. I'm all well. Thank you. Nothing's been wrong. I'm good. I just didn't feel like making a Floss Tube. Uh, but a lot has happened. I went to a Mirabilia retreat. Hello. I went to... <laughs> My dog wants attention suddenly. I went to a Mirabilia retreat in February. I went to Nashville Market in March. I went to Mittagong with a bunch of friends in May. Um, I went up to Sydney and went to a new stitching shop in June. And that's, oh, I went to Perth last week for my sister's wedding in July. Um, but yeah, it's lots has been going on. Not a lot of it has been stitching. I have not been stitching much, which is really why the floss tube hasn't been happening. I've been playing a lot of League of Legends, <laughs> a lot of Minecraft. Um, League of Legends has a new game mode called Team Fight Tactics, and I'm pretty obsessed. It's one of those auto battlers, like auto chess. Um, it's amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm really trying hard to fight the temptation to play League um, and get some stitching done. Because I'm getting close to a big finish. Um, I'm still a long way off, really. But I do want to get the... Anyway, let's just talk about things that happen. First thing I'll talk about will be the... Um, in February was the show. Uh, the Canberra... Act You AGL Royal Canberra Show. And I actually entered some of my cross stitches into the show. And I won a couple of things. I got a second place ribbon for this one. This is Silver Medieval Sampler. Um, I know you've seen it before. I entered this, I got second. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, even though it got totally slammed in the feedback, they said, oh, we can't see the green colour, which is true. They said they didn't like the fabric because they couldn't see the, the design, which is the effect I wanted anyway, so I'm not upset with that feedback. But there we go, that Silver Medieval Sampler, trying to get my shadow off it. Second place. I'm pretty happy about um, I also got, uh, I won, I don't know what I won, but I won something for this. This is Japanese Octagon Box. What I won was a $25 gift certificate from our local needle workshop. Um, it's mainly a knitting shop, but they also have a, a bit of cross stitch. Um, so I got a certificate, but I didn't get a ribbon or anything, so I actually don't know what I won. It might have been like a judge's choice or something, um, but I was pretty proud of that. I didn't actually get to go to the show to see um, my pieces or see the other pieces that were in there, see what else won. Um, I would have liked to have done that, but I just didn't get to. Um, so that was, I think that was in February. Um, then I think the weekend after the video I made, I went to the Mirabilia retreat, um, which was in Terrigal, which is um, a town on the coast an hour and a half maybe north of Sydney maybe an hour north of Sydney and it was beautiful February is a nice time of year to be there um, before I went I actually made a new start um, do I have the original pattern nearby the original pattern might be in here actually um, it is Lady Hera by Mirabilia and the pattern isn't here and I don't know where it is Nope, I don't have it. Um, so I'll put in a photo here of what the pattern looks like. And I did have a new start. I started this the day before the retreat. And there it is. There's my amazing new start. Uh, the fabric is 32 count Murano even weave in deep Bordeaux from x Design. And I love this fabric. I think it looks really cool. Um, I intended, of course, to take this to the retreat and stitch on it, but that didn't happen because I left it at home. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, I had packed a couple of other whips, so I did actually get to stitch on Villa Mirabilia, but not on this. Um, but when I was there, I did get to see someone else's whip of this. Um, Taryn, hi Taryn, um, is stitching this on this amazing purple fabric. Amazing purple fabric, and it looks really good. I thought the red would be really good, but I'm worried about if you look in her dress, I'll put the picture back up, 
in her dress there's a section that looks like it's red but it's actually kind of a coppery orangey red and it might not look so good against this very blood red this is almost burgundy um, so I'm thinking I might have to restart and find some different fabric so this might be an un new start but we'll see um, and the, the bag it's in is actually a bag I bought from Taryn um, Teaser Handmaids uh, I love this bag it's amazing it's so pretty uh, it's vinyl front bag I bought it from her at the retreat beautiful little zipper finder um yeah I love this her bags are so nice and they're very reasonably reasonably priced this was I think it was $27 um, which is a crazy price. It's a big bag. It's big enough for an 11 by 11 Q-snap, which is my preferred size. I really love this. Not sure what to do about that fabric. I obviously haven't worked on this since the retreat anyway, so nothing really to show. I'm just going to pause this for one minute because I forgot something. So I actually forgot to go get this. This is what I did work on at the retreat. It's Villa Mirabilia by Mirabilia. And which way is up and which way is down? Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. This is what I've done so far. And on the retreat, I basically just worked on all of this white and yellow in the dress. Um, and I came over here to whatever that brown thing is. <laughs> Don't know what it is actually. Uh, oh, it's just a dark brown shadow in the dress. Yep. So this is Villa, Villa Mirabilia by Mirabilia. I'm stitching it on the cord for fabric, which is 32 count willow green from the Chelt. Um, no, it's why I got, it's why I got, my bad. Um, yep, I didn't get much done, as you can see. Uh, it was one of those weird retreats where you just didn't get anything done. Usually, I'm not like most people who complain that they don't do any stitching on retreats. Usually, I do stitch on retreats, but I didn't this time. <laughs> um, but it was a great fun retreat. It was nice to meet a lot of people. I met someone there, I think her name was Jen, and she was stitching on Merrily Merrily We Welcome Spring. And I can't remember who she is or what she is on Instagram, and I want to find her again. So if anyone knows Jen, who was stitching on Merrily Merrily We Welcome Spring, or if you watch this Jen, can you send me a message with your Instagram? Because I just want to see your stuff again. That's all. Okay. So after the mirror retreat, I think like the next weekend pretty much, or the weekend after maybe, I headed over to America and I went to Nashville. Before I went, I had an FFO. I finished this. This is my name tag. Uh, this was a real ghetto finish. You can see it's very uneven on these two sides. Um, I folded the fabric under here and it's real dodgy. It's not glued on straight. It's very crooked. Uh, yeah, but it works. And I did wear this all around market, but um, as I was wearing a hoodie most of the time, I didn't, I don't think anyone saw it. But I'm really happy with it. It's very pretty. I love the stitches on it. The colours are so 90s and retro. This was Sampler Name Tag by Sharon Cohen, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I went to market. I bought a ton of things. Um, I bought, I had two suitcases that were 23 kilos each, and then we still had 10 kilos of stuff to post back. Um, <laughs> um, for myself, I bought quite a few things, but not as many, not, actually not as many as I would have thought. I think about stash quite differently now that mum's selling cross stitch in the shop because everything's there and I can get it whenever I want. I don't need to have it in my house, in my stash. So that's a, a new feeling and it's unusual. <laughs> Um, usually I feel like I have to buy everything as soon as I see it in case it, in case it goes out of print or in case I can't find it again. Um, or since I'm filling up a shopping basket, I should fill it up to get the most out of my postage. So I'm thinking a bit differently about stash now, which is good because I'm spending it less. I've spent a lot less on stash this year, actually, partly because I'm on a budget. I've got bigger medical, medical costs this year because we're trying to fall pregnant and having problems and that gets expensive um, and also because I'm just earning less and yeah but I did buy this little one Ode to the Alt 
This was by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And this little kit came with the tin and the pattern to make this little oat tin. And I finished this and I'm using it at work as my oat jar. In my job now, I actually get some stitching done at work, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, I actually don't have it to show you. I'll put in a picture here if I can find one. Um, it won't be a very good picture though. Yeah. So that was really nice. It was easy to stitch. I just switched out the threads for my own, um, mainly Victorian motto or maybe completely Victorian motto. Uh, yeah. And it stitched up really quickly over one on a 28 count, even weave I had lying around. It was good. It was a fun project. Um, the only other thing that I've stitched from market so far was the needle starts by hang on by Summer House Stitchworks, Ink Circles, and Hands On Design. Um, and when I went to market the first day, the Friday, um, I actually did a few classes. And one of the classes I went to was how to use exclusives to promote your business. And what they did was they actually gave us the kit for this exclusive design. So I stitched up the model and then a few months later they sent the charts out to all of us and we kitted it up and it's available in our shop now if you want to buy it. Um, the shop's motifs by hand, the links are below. Um, yeah, I finished it in April. It was a fun stitch. Lots of fun actually. I really like how it turned out. Again, it's not here. I'm sorry. It's actually at the shop. Um, I might try and get a hold of it for the next video to show though because it turned out so nice and it's very difficult to photograph that fabric well. So what else? What else can I say about market? It was fantastic. It was like it was like going into a needlework shop and being able to buy everything you liked um, because I was buying stock for the shop. Going go into the shop, buy everything you like and then walk out and then right next door is another shop. And then another one, and then another one, 200 or something shops. Um, and the best thing was, it wasn't even my money I was spending, it was the shop money. <laughs> um, it was fantastic. Uh, and it's a lot of work though, it's exhausting. I mean, especially since I was jet lagged and traveling and I was only there, I got there on the Thursday and I left on the Monday. Uh, it was crazy, it was exhausting, it was so much fun. Yeah lots of stuff. I met so many people. I hugged so many people. I hugged, I think, Barb from Black Faith Designs. I hugged Kathy Barrick. I hugged Stephanie Webb. That's Lindy Stitches. Uh, I hugged, uh, I don't know, lots of people. It was amazing. Um, Susie Reno said I was the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> um, it was just so much fun. Lots of fun. I bought myself a present there. There was, um, I had looked for the card for this guy so I could tell you who he is and where he is and where you can find this if you want one, but I can't find it. This is obviously a scissor, fo scissor frog. It's made of lots of different kinds of wood. I was worried about not being able to bring this back into Australia, but it was fine. It's sealed, so they said it's fine. Um, and I've just got a few pairs of scissors in there. These are all sort of just ornamental pairs. They're not really ones I use. Uh, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, there's some nice ones. The Putford scissors. <laughs> I love these little tiny ones. Yeah. Um, this is about a third of my scissor collection. Uh, maybe less. Um, I, but I, it's really nice having that there and having some scissors on display and in easy reach if I need them. So that's a nice fun thing. What else? So, what's this one? I'll show some whips. This is a project that I had at work for a while. Um, you've seen this before. Since I can actually stitch on my weekends and night shifts, because it's a bit quieter, I've been working on this. This is Dartha. And I've shown this before. When she's finished, she'll be a bell pull like this. And the kit actually comes with the hardware. This is the original kit fabric that I tried to dye and messed up. So I swapped out the fabric for 14 count, whatever this stuff is, Rustico. I think it's Rustico Ada. And that's what I've done so far. And doesn't she look so cool? I love her. There's a lot of spaces in here in her dress for beads. Um, this is not a lot of fun to stitch, I'll say. <laughs> this has a lot of backstitch. If you look up here in these sections, every little part is backstitched. Um, takes quite a long time, actually, with the backstitch. 
it's kind of fiddly to stitch as well because it's very long and narrow. Um, I finally found a Q-snap configuration that seems to work, but I'm going to have to get longer sidebars to because I don't like cup. I don't like putting the Q-snaps on my stitches unless I have to, which I might have to eventually. But anyway, that's where she is now. She's about a quarter done, <laughs> um, but she looks so pretty, and I'm really happy with her. Um, so. And it's nice that I actually have been getting some work done on her. I haven't worked on her probably since April. Um, I put her away when I started stitching the needles dance because I stitched on that at work because I wanted to get it done quickly for the shop as a shop model. Even though we don't really, we can't really display models because um, no one comes into the shop very much, you know, except you can come to the shop by appointment if you want. But uh, there are no models left. <laughs> So there's that one. Um, I haven't worked on very many things. As I said, I've been playing a lot of League of Legends uh, and I just haven't done a lot of stitching. Um, when I went to Mittagong with a few stitchy friends, oh, I forgot to get something else. I'll get it in a minute. Um, I was really complaining that my stitchy bug was gone and I'd taken quite a few things to work on, but I didn't really want to work on anything. The thing I did end up working on the most was this, which is RVDB1794 by the S Sampler. And this is a darning sampler. And I'm becoming quite obsessed. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare. I'm becoming really obsessed with darning samplers. Um, I want to do all of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I've been seeking out darn examples and putting them all on my wish list. Uh, and this is what I've done so far. Not so much. Let me take this off so you can see. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of dropped you. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just putting something behind this so you can see it a bit better. There we go. That is what I've done so far on RVDB1794. Um, you can barely see this passion, but there's a big one there. Two, three, four, I'm on the fifth one. So there's still a long way to go on this. But it's a lot of fun. It's really beautiful. Um, darning is very easy. It's just going up and down and up and down and up and down and then down and up and down and up and down and up. Um, very easy. I have been cutting my, my strands too long and with the silk I'm finding that I need them to be a bit shorter because they sort of untangle quite a lot. They're a Verasua silks. They untangle too much and they kind of fray a bit and one of them broke. That, that one that's hanging down actually broke. So I need to take a bit more care with the silks I found. Uh, but that's been a lot of fun and that actually has been calling me a bit. Um, the other time I worked on that was when I had an operation in June. Yeah, early June. Um, and ovarian drilling. This is what I talked about with the baby making. Um, and when I was recovering from that, I actually was able to work on RVDB a bit more then. So I haven't worked on much else. Uh, my travel project has got a bit of love. This is Barbara Anna Designs, Fair Philomel. And it says, Fair Philomel, she but lost her tongue and in a tedious sampler sewed her mind. And here she is so far. She says it's a bit of love, not a lot. Um, she's a lot of fun to stitch on. <laughs> I'm having problems with the colours because, well, it looks a bit better in the picture, but some of the colours look so similar and they're not supposed to be. Like her skin colour and the dress colour, they're not the same, even though they look the same. And her hand and the bird are supposed to be different, but they look identical. So just dial-up issues or something. I don't know. <laughs> She's getting work, so that's good. Um, I've got a few things here. Right, in June, we went up to Sydney and I went to a new shop, new to me shop called Stitch in Willoughby. Um, and that was a nice little shop. Uh, it's pretty small, uh, probably, probably a little bit smaller than the Cruel Goblin, if you've been there. Um, still very much worth a visit. Um, they have Overessoir and Needlepoint Ink Silks, which is always nice. Um, excuse me. Okay. They um, carry loads of samplers and 
lots of lots of good stuff I could have spent a lot of money in there but I was being good something I did buy I bought a few silks for kitting something up and I bought this which is a pouch obviously this is mesh so I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all this actually is cross stitchable you can totally cross stitch on this I haven't counted yet but I would say that over two over two will be quite big it's a bit bigger than 14 count so this might be like about 25 count so I'm gonna stitch something on here I might stitch my name and have myself a nice little personalized pouch and I got this from stitch uh, $7.50 which I thought was reasonable it's a nice thing when I was in Perth last week I found my I've been looking for something for a while like this this is a basket a Jarrah basket board it's called I got it from Tricky Timber at the Fremantle Markets and it's just like this this is actually one piece of wood this top part it actually folds down if I can if I can do it on camera you actually need two hands folds down like that into one piece and then you stand it up it's kind of a bit fiddly you need two hands um, or I just haven't mastered the art of doing it <laughs> um, into a basket I won't do it now folds up into a basket and I'm going to use this as a um, like a dough bowl that's what I'm trying to think of I've been looking for a kind of dough bowl for myself for a while so that's going to be a little thing to put smalls into and have displayed around the place that'll be nice I think that's it if that's not it I have two more things to show you just in a minute okay I'm back again <laughs> I finally got the last couple of things I want to show you. Stop. Stop. Just snipping my needlework. Um, when I was in Mittagong with my stitchy friends, we actually decided to start a round robin. Um, if you don't know what a round robin is, basically each of us has a piece that we started and we're sending it around to each of our friends in turn and we're going to stitch on each person's piece and by the time we get back, back to Mittagong next year, all seven or eight of those pieces should all be stitched on by each of us and hopefully completed and so at the moment I have Joanna's round robin and this is it this is Lizzie Kate I don't know what the whole thing's called sorry um, so she stitched the first part and I have to stitch this second part here I haven't started yet she gave me this start um, it says love um, so I will be stitching on this probably this weekend have it done I have also stitched on a lot of um, um, ATCs which are artist trading cards and I've sent those off and I've received many uh, I don't remember which ones I've shown you and I just looking at the board I can't remember which ones are the most recent ones so I won't show any just in case <laughs> um, but I love them all and they're great uh, my round robin is also in the mail it's been sent off to the person I send to which is Sandra and I will put a picture here of what it looked like when I sent it away that is Quaker's Dozen by Long Dog Samplers and I'm using a DMC variegated Scotty, stop I'm using a DMC variegated thread um, and that's going around to each of the girls to stitch on uh, it's already been a one round robin which is why so many at the top have already been completed um, and then the only other thing I've been stitching on that I thought I should show you is something that really should have been finished by now but still is not and that is Sarah Brazier there she is and you can see pretty well that I am almost done almost done I if, when I say almost done this is still going to take me another four weeks I reckon so I'm working on the bottom border at the moment I've got to tell you the amazing feeling it <laughs> I felt when all five borders matched up um, as you can see there's like two green borders here two brown borders there and then this viney border as well all of those matched up at once I was very pleased so I am almost finished and when I'm finished with this I am not even going to know what to do with myself <laughs> I think I was kind of thinking to myself oh I'm not going to make another floss tube video until this is finished that was crazy <laughs> um, I've I don't know I just because of the gaming and stuff I just haven't been working on it I haven't even wanted to that much um, because it sort of never felt like it was close to a finish 
Yesterday, well, last night I stitched on it for about five hours. Today, I've had a day off and it's like 4 p.m. and I still haven't touched it. <laughs> I've just been cleaning the house and making floss tube videos. I made a product review before this one, which you might already have seen. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it just needs love and I just don't want to, I just haven't had a lot of chance to give it love. But hopefully I will today and tomorrow, my day's off. And I'd like to see some really good progress and hopefully it'll be done in three or four weeks if I can actually get some stitching done. <laughs> um, my friends are literally messaging me right now uh, asking me to come and play League. So I don't know if I will or not. <laughs> um, that's all I have to say. It's weird making a video again. I kind of don't really want to post it but I'm going to because I've made it. I will make a new video sometime, maybe in a month. Maybe when I finish Sarah Brazier. Um, mm, 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 I hope you're all well. I'm sorry I haven't washed any floss tube in months. And I haven't uh, really even been keeping up on Instagram. I feel really out of touch. I miss you all though. Maybe if I just put on some floss tube and get stitching, it'll just make me, make me want to stitch again. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye.